All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 10. And in this lesson, we're going to continue uh, doing put together problems. Uh, but really, what we're also going to be doing is helping students subitize and really connect uh, the, the Arabic number with the dot pattern in the five groups, in the five group style, right? And so, uh, teachers, one thing you can do is just help students instantly. See a number. For example, six. We want students to be able to know that six is a row of five plus a row of one. Similarly, we want them to see that nine. Instantly, we want them to know, it. oh, that's a five and a four, right? Whereas a four is just a group of four. We don't have enough to make a row of five, right? So uh, we want students to be able to start to just see that. And the idea will be down the road, we're going to want students to be able to decompose. For example, we're going to want students to decompose a seven as five and two. And that's going to make addition. Uh, it's going to give students the I don't know, extra toolkits, uh, tools in their toolkit uh, for how to add in an easy way, right? Uh, so that's what the, this whole lesson is going to be about, is giving students repeated opportunities while, uh, while adding, but repeated opportunities to connect the Arabic number with the dot pattern. So here it says, use your five group cards to solve. All right, so we've got these faces. And one thing we can do is we can say we notice that some of the faces are large and some of the faces are small. And so those are going to be the parts. And the total number of faces is going to be the whole. So we can see that we've got five small faces. We've got three big faces for a total of eight, right? So parents and teachers, if they want to put three here and five here, that's perfectly fine too. Uh, the idea is use those group, th those five group cards, right? And so one thing that they might look at, might look like is, it, let's see, I'm going to grab there. It might look like this. One, two, three, four, five, plus one, two, three, equaling, okay, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, eight, all right? So this is what, they might grab their cards and they might set it up to show us that, oh, Five is five dots, three is the three dots, and the total is eight, which happens to be a row of five, that's like this row, and a row of three, that's like this row. Now over here it says draw the other five group card to show what you did. And they could, one way is we could put a three right here. Now another way they could arrange it or display it is we could say one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. All right, so we're connecting the Arabic number numeral with the dots. And the last slide for this video is we have, let's see, we have three girls and five boys draw to show how many children there are all together. So parents and teachers, you're going to give your students some time to draw your girls and your boys. All right, and I'm almost done. Of course, first graders are going to go much slower than that, um, and they're probably going to draw better pictures than me. So anyway, we have our picture, and now down here it says, how many children are there all together? So of course, we're going to let our students count. At this point, we're not expecting them to just add. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight all together, eight children all together. Now, what is a number sentence that we can use to show what we did? Well, probably the most common would be, well, we have three girls and five boys. So we are likely to see students come up with this. Three plus five equals eight. Now, teachers, remember, um, we want those outside-of-the-box thinkers to also feel comfortable saying things like, well, can we say 8 equals 3 plus 5? And, of course, we're going to celebrate that and say, yes, way to go, student. Yes, we can say that. And also, remind, uh, be reminded that 
we're, we're connecting these numbers to the dots, right? So when we see the number three, we want students to see some, uh, be able to think about dots like this. So they might say, oh, there's three dots here. They might see five dots here. And then for the total, it would look like this, a row of five and a row of three, right? Eight. And that's how we're going to subitize, and that's how we're going to uh, display the number eight. And then over here, way over here, we are going to, and I did not mean to draw all over it, okay, way over here, uh, write a number bond. So we know that our part part is three and five, and our whole is eight. So one way to display it might look like this, three, five, and eight. And remember, teachers, Addition is commutative, so if students want to put the 5 up at the top and the 3 down at the bottom, that is absolutely okay. And that wraps up first grade, module 1, lesson 10, where we are solving put-together problems and we're connecting it with those five group cards.